So now we know we can log in with Envoy and we can run commands on the server, let's start building up our deployment script. So over in the envoy.blade.php file, I'm just going to change this task now and call it deploy, as that's going to make more sense to what we're actually building up here. So before we jump in any deeper, I just want to show you something that you're probably going to come across. And this is because the way Linux runs its shells. So there's three types of shells in Linux. There's a login one, which is obviously when you're logging into the server. But then there's two other types once you're in. So there's an interactive shell and a non-interactive shell. And a non-interactive shell is what's often used by scripts like we're using now with Envoy. And what this means is it doesn't load in your dot profile and your dot bash rc file. And if you install node and npm with node version manager like we did in the earlier videos, you won't have access to these commands. So let me show you that. So first let's do a composer and then we want to give it a dash v flag to just list out the version. So let's run this. And as you probably noticed, I've, uh, I've mistyped the ploy there. So let me just fix that typo. Now let's run this in the command line so we can see the output. So again, in the root of our project on our local machine, we just want to do an envoy run. And remember, we changed the name of our script now from list to deploy. So we want to run our deploy task. So we just hit enter. And you can see that logs into our server like it did before. And it gets the composer version number. So now let's try this with npm and this should fail. So if we just do an npm and we want to pass it a dash v. And if we just save that and then over in our terminal, if we just run the envoy run deploy script again, you can see it lists out composer as we expected again. But now this fails. It says the npm command is not found. So you're probably thinking that doesn't really make sense because we did install npm. The problem is because this shell is now in non-interactive mode, it has not loaded our bash rc file that no version manager is relying on. So what we need to do is we need to load up nvm. And to do this, we can run a command called source. So we just type source. And what source does is it runs a script. So you tell it what script to run and it'll run it. Now, sometimes you can use a shortcut of a simple full stop or a period, depending on where you're from, and then the file name. So I'm just going to call source directly here. And we want to run the NVM shell script. So to do that, we'll just do a tilde. And we want to go into the nvm directory, which is a hidden directory. So it starts with a period, nvm. And then we're just going to call the nvm script, which is nvm.sh. Now when we run this deploy task, it's going to load nvm up into our shell. So we will have access to npm again. Let's just give this a try. So over in our terminal, if we just do an envoy run deploy again, you can see this time it lists out compose again but it also lists out our npm version here. So perfect, so now we know that we can run PHP commands, as we've obviously called Composer, and we can also run npm commands. So we can now do a full build on our server. So in the next video, let's flesh out this deploy script so we can do a full deployment.